Welcome back fellow coders, Jared O'Leary here with Boot Up. In this video, I'm gonna show you some of the changes in the blocks that are in Scratch 3.0. So on our old version of Scratch, we had our different categories that we can click on, our different tabs, and it give you different um, blocks where you can make some really cool stuff with it. Now in Scratch 3.0, it's got all this, uh, the similar categories. So it's got our motion, our looks, our sound, and you can click on these like this. However, it's added the features so that way if you have a scroll wheel, you can actually scroll up and down through all of these. Or if you have a touch device, you can actually use your fingers um, to move up and down on this. Now, in addition to having that ability to move some stuff around, they've actually added in some new blocks for you. So for instance, in the older version of Scratch, we had a glide block, and it allowed you to put in an X and a Y coordinate and tell you how long until it glides. Now, in Scratch 3.0, it's got that same block. However, it's added another version called glide, and it allows you to pick a random position. So if I click on this one time, Scratch Cat goes to a random spot, click on it again, and it keeps going to different spots. We can also say it to glide towards the mouse pointer. So for instance, we want to make it so that Scratch Cat moves to where my mouse was when I clicked on it, then he's going to do that. Now, what's really cool, if you add in a surprise character, like the letter B for banana, um, you now have the option to actually glide to the letter B from wherever Scratch Cat is at. So if Scratch Cat is up here, it's going to take one second to go to B. So that's just one example of some new blocks that have been added. There are a ton of really cool stuff in here. So if we scroll down a little bit, we can see it's got a lot of neat features for the looks box. We've got the ability to switch between name and number on here, as well as the backdrop name and number, which is a really nice feature. And we've got some sound blocks. Now in the sound box, we can actually change the pitch, which makes something sound higher or lower, and we can change panning left and right. So we can say, hey, I wanna make it so that I hear it in my left ear. I wanna make it so I can only hear it in my right ear. So you can change the panning that way. So those are some really cool new blocks in here. Now there are some blocks that are missing in the sound block, but I'll show you in another video on extensions that'll show you how to add those back in. So you can actually play some different notes and play some different drums or, or um, rhythm effects. Percussion effects, can't think. I'm, not, I'm a percussionist, I should know these things. Um, so we still have some of the same control blocks as before. Uh, nothing too fancy or new with that. Um, we've got some changes in the uh, sensing. So we can now set things to draggable or not draggable, um, which is great because maybe we don't want somebody to be able to move our sprites around while playing a game um, by clicking on it and dragging it, or maybe we want them to. And we've still got some operators. We can still make some variables and some lists. And now, whereas before, we used to have this one that said more blocks, and you can make a block or add an extension. Now, it just says my blocks, and when you click on it, it gives you some options on here. So another slight change in some of the blocks um, that you may notice, um, like for instance, when you go to point in direction, rather than having to type in a number, which you can still do, it actually shows you what direction um, you're gonna point depending on whatever number you type in there. So this makes it a whole lot easier to try and figure out, okay, is it gonna be a negative 120 or is it gonna be like 45 or what's my number gonna be? And this, you can just simply drag and it'll point in the direction that the sprite will face with that. So have fun exploring all these new blocks. There's a ton of cool stuff that you can do and I hope you enjoy these updates on 3.0. Hey everyone, if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not watching us on YouTube, you can find us on that platform as well as other social media outlets by searching for Boot Up PD. And if you're looking for more free lessons, projects, and resources for teachers and students, visit us at bootuppd.org where you can also learn about our high quality professional development.